Hi, hello, one a come and welcome back to yet another episode on Little Slav YouTube channel. So today we are in the day three of Terraform Associate Certificate, and today we are going to see about standardizing deployment workflow with Terraform. So first we will see what is the providers and resources when it comes to the standardizing of deployment workflow with Terraform. So in Terraform providers, we have already seen in our previous video about the providers. So I'm not discussing about that here. So let me just go over the provider and resources. So what are they and what do they have and how consistent are they? So in Terraform, the providers define individual units of infrastructures such as compute instances or private networks as resources. And the reason for this to define them as individual units is the resources from different providers can be composed into reusable configurations known as modules. And these modules enable the management of diverse resources with a consistent language and workflow. And that's why we, and that's how actually the Terraform, the hash Terraform standardizes the deployment workflow. So let's now move on to the second part, which is the Terraform configuration language. So Terraform configuration language is basically a declarative nature. So what is declarative? So Terraform configuration language is declarative, which describes the desired end state of our infrastructure. So how is it different from the, or how contrast is this of the procedural languages? So unlike procedural programming languages that require step-by-step -step instructions, Terraform's language focuses on specifying the outcome and not the process and that's the difference between the declarative nature and the 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 regular procedural languages because the terraform is declarative but the procedural languages are step-by-step -step instructions and again the terraform languages focuses on specifying the outcome and not the process and when we move on to the third slide, which is the automatic dependency calculation. So Terraform providers automatically calculate dependencies between resources and that's the major dependency of the Terraform. And when it comes to the order of operations and because of this dependency, the resource dependency, this ensures that the resources are created or destroyed in the correct order to maintain consistency and avoid errors and that's the main reason of using terraform so again i would like to reiterate it so terraform providers automatically calculate dependency between resources and this makes sure that the resources are created or destroyed in the correct order in order to maintain consistency and avoid errors and then Finally, the Terraform deployment workflow. So we have five steps in it. So the first thing is the scope. The second is the author. The third one is initialize, which we call as init, and then the plan, and then finally the apply. So when we start with the scope, so we identify the infrastructure components that are needed for our project. And why is it important to identify? It's because we can clearly or Terraform clearly defines the scope to determine which resources and providers are relevant. And the second part is the author, which is authoring. So writing the Terraform configuration for our infrastructure because this authoring part involves creating a declarative description of the desired infrastructure state. And that's very important. So the first part is the scope and the second part is the authorization or the authoring. And the third one is the Terraform init, which the which is the initialize, which actually the third step with to install the necessary plugins that Terraform needs to manage the infrastructure. And what's the purpose of doing this? What's the purpose of initializing it? It's to 
prepare the environment by downloading and configuring the required providers we will see them how to do that in our upcoming videos but let's understand the basic idea behind how does this deployment workflow works and then once we initialize we will move on to the plan so what happens in the plan so we preview the changes that terraform will make to align with our configuration because after we do the terraform in it we run a terraform plan which allows us to review and understand the impact of the changes before applying them and then finally the last step which is the terraform apply which executes the planned changes to the infrastructure and that will make the necessary modifications to achieve the desired infrastructure state so overall today we saw about how does the terraform works in terms of its deployment workflow with terraform so we saw about the providers and resources and then we saw about the terraform configuration languages which is how does the terraform language is different from the traditional programming language the procedural languages and then we saw about the dependency calculation where the terraform will create or destroy the correct order in the correct order to maintain the consistency and avoid errors and then finally we saw about the deployment workflow where we start with the scope where we identify the infrastructure components which are needed for our project and then we do the authoring where we write the terraform configurations for our infrastructure and then we do the terraform in it where we install the necessary plugins that terraform needs to manage the infrastructure and then the planning part which previews the changes and in fact in this step it will tell us what are all the changes that are going to happen which resource is going to get created which is going to get updated which is going to get deleted and this will tell us a clear plan of what is going to happen in which order so we'll be aware of what is going to happen during the apply and we don't have need to have any surprises after we do the apply and then finally the apply which will execute the planned changes to the infrastructure so with that i come to an end please don't forget to subscribe to our channel in case if you have not subscribed yet so until i meet you in another interesting video it's bye bye from vasant shanmugam and little slaw